my name is Brandon Linton. I'm an Ipe and Capeno tribal member from Mesa Grande Indian Reservation. Um, I live in, uh, it's up in North County, North San Diego County. And I do native monitoring in San Diego, in San Diego County, in and around San Diego County. And um, I'm here because there's a lot of problems we have as Native Americans with preserving our culture and preserving our history and letting people know that we're still here, we're still around, we are people and we are alive. And a lot of times it seems like people forget about that. We're, we're here to preserve our culture and the archeology, span the archeologists record things in a way that neglects what our feelings are and what our culture is and what it means to us so there becomes a separation of archaeology and native americans and the two need to go together if you're gonna write history you have to have some perspective of the people that lived it and the people who came from that culture and that's what we're missing in archaeology and it's missing in the education of native americans in this country as a whole and how do you see the preservation of um cultural sites and burial sites as important for the future, future generations. In the terms of future, it helps bring more of a community and bringing people together and that's what we're trying to do is keep our unification, our people as a whole unified so that we don't get sparse because once, once you start spreading out and forgetting who your community is, then that's when your culture is lost in history forever, you know? And we're trying to we're not we're trying to not lose that, we're trying to keep that going. So by preserving these sites and preserving our our sacred areas and preserving our burial grounds and being able to teach our children where they come from and giving them an actual physical connection as well as emotional and spiritual, having all of that tied together helps them realize who they are, helps them realize that community is important, and helps them realize that helping each other is important. Mm -hmm. So we want that to be carried on in the future. Mm -hmm. And I think saving these sites is an important part of teaching that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times what happens on these sites is they try to negotiate with the Native Americans and they don't understand that we're trying to preserve these sites as a whole because anything you cut off changes what it was and it changes the dynamics and it changes that connection you have because we are connected to this earth we are connected to everything we're surrounded by and we're connected to our ancestors and we're connected to our culture and if you cut that off it's like cutting a piece of you off you're losing that connection so we want to preserve them and not pieces of them and not breaking them apart and spreading them out and not preserving them in warehouses and boxes we want to preserve them where they are and we want to keep that connaction the last question I have for you is how would you um, talk to a non-native person about the significance of burial sites say they asked you well well what if everything is a burial site and you dig up bones everywhere do you just want us to stop building everywhere and stop developing everywhere what would you say to someone who asked something like that I'm trying to explain that to somebody is a question that we're still trying to figure out and it's also ties into saving these sites so that people that don't have that connection people that have lost that connection these sites may help them it might help non-natives realize that knowing your roots is important because a lot of people you know that are living in america today are are uh maybe first or maybe like second third generation so their great grandparents came from a different country and most people have never been to that country. Most people don't know the stories of their homelands. Most people don't know how their family lived and how they came to be because how that family lived is how that person came to be and they lose that connection then they don't they don't understand. That's why they look at us and they're like, "Well, why, are you, why do you care? These people are ancient, you know, they're ancient history, they don't belong anymore. But we understand it because we've never lost that connection. We've, it's never left us. We grew up in it, we lived in it, we 
and it's who we are.